Hello class, Mr. Stone here. The problem we have today, it's x squared minus one over x minus one equals five. Well, what I did above, I put on a couple of special factoring formulas, um, just to, so you can familiarize yourself with it. Um, the one I, I feel that kind of fits with this one is, in truth, you could make this one square, okay? So the top one here is a square minus b square equals a plus b times a minus b. They call it the difference of squares. It's right over here. And that's what I kind of think falls into this category, okay? So let's move it up a little. So let's see, rewrite this formula like that. So we'd have x plus 1 times x minus 1 over x minus 1 equals 5. So as we look at it, these two x minus 1s cross each other out. So what we have left is x plus 1 equals 5. So now we want to get it by x by itself. Hey, let's subtract 1 from both sides. Because you know what we do to one side, we got to do to the other side. Bring this down, it's x equals 4. And truthfully, that's the solution. So let's square this off so the teacher knows, hey, that's my answer, x equals 4. So hey, let's plug it back in, okay? You ready? So we have, I'm going to rewrite the formula down here. x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 equals 5. So let's plug the 4 in and see how that works, okay? So we have 4 squared minus 1 over 4 minus 1 equals 5. So 4 squared is 16. 16 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. So 16 minus 1 is 15. Divided by 3 equals 5. So that checks out. We did it. Hey, we did a perfect job. Uh, remember how you can plug this back in and see if you did do the right answer. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and remember what I always say is math can be fun. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.